Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the area using double integral. What are the learning objectives of today's lecture is evaluation of an integral over the given region, evaluation of area over a given region. And under that, we are going to see the problems of Cartesian coordinates and polar. Let us go for the first example. Let me just do my pen here. OK. Now it's double integral 4xy minus y cube dA. dA is nothing but dx dy. d is the region bounded by this curve. And the another curve is this. So I'll draw this curves. This two curves I'll draw. If you'll observe how to draw this curve, this is y is equals to square root of x. That means it is y square is equals to x. And y is equals to x cube. That means I'm having this curve. This first curve is symmetric to x axis. And therefore, the another part, another part of this curve is something like this here, which is symmetric to x. And this curve is in the first and the third quadrant. First and the third quadrant. So this like this. So if you'll observe, my curve of this x cube would be something like this. This is my x axis somewhere here. It will be asymmetric to this axis, right? Now, if we will consider a strip. Now, again, I have a two options here. I could go for the strip parallel to x axis or a strip parallel to y axis. Why am I not going for strip parallel to x axis? The reason is whenever I'm saying my strip parallel to x axis, that means my x is nothing but x will move from 0, oh, sorry, uh, the, the limit for x would be cube root of y. And that would come here, somewhere here, or somewhere here. So what this somewhere here, this upper upper limit. And this problem is that if I if it will be difficult for me to solve the integral. And therefore, we are considering here strip parallel to x-axis for our simplicity. Strip parallel to y-axis, sorry, it's for sim our simplicity. So what is my lower end? Lower end is of this strip is lying on this curve, which is my x cube, y is equal to x cube. Upper end is on this curve. That means it is square root of x. And therefore, if you'll observe this, the limit of y is from x cube to square root of x. So this inner integral is for y. y is moving from x cube to square root of x. And if this is the, the coordinates, I, I, I have already found out this. This is the intercept you can easily find out using this, using the simultaneously solving these two equations. After solving these two equations, you'll get the intercepts as 0, 0 and 1, 1. This point is 1, 1. And if I'm talking about uh, this, the limit of x, it will be the x coordinate of this point to the x coordinate of this a point, that is 1. So if it is, this is x is moving from 0 to 1. And therefore, the outer limit is 0 to 1. Uh, this inner integral is for x cubed to square root of x. And the integrand is 4xy minus y cubed dy dx. Because of today's lecture, that our intention or my motive is just to make you understand how to take the exact the the coordinates how to um, take the strip concept here and uh, that is why and the even the ray concept i just would like to explain you thorough in this and that is the reason i'm not taking the much more time on this the solving the integral this is we can easily solve the integrals i'll leave my answer with 55 upon 156. the next question is it's of use double integral to determine the area. Actually, my focus for this is, as you said, as you have seen that the topic of today's lecture is the area. This is what is my motive. But because I would like to explain you something for the next topic, that is the reason as a prerequisite, I have to consider this as one question. Area of the region bounded by this curve and this another curve. So now if you'll observe, this y is equals to 1 minus x squared, 1 minus x squared. And if you'll observe this x squared, the power of x is even power, and that is why my this strip, this this curve is symmetric to symmetric to y-axis because it's it's x the power of x is even. Similarly, if you observe the second curve, also the power of x is even. Therefore, again, my this another curve is also symmetric to x y-axis. Now, if I would like to say, I would like to uh, find out the intercept of y, I need to put x is equals to 0. If I put x is equals to 0, I'll get my intercept at uh, the y-axis as 1, which is the base of this equation. Similarly, this, this is what is the base of this parabola here. So now this is these are the two. And the, the question is double integral to determine the area region bounded by 
both the curves bounded by both the curves means common to both the curves so that is why this is what so i will not include this further part here so this this another part actually this this would be the curves here so i am not going to consider the other part other than this bounded by both the regions this is my the first first step i have done it i have drawn the curves on this i have found out the intercept now another another part is to find out this intercept here this intercepts i need to find out what are the intercepts of this and you can you can easily find out this intercepts using solving these two equations simultaneously so it's 1 minus x square is equals to x square minus 3 i'm going to get my this x is equals to this plus or minus square root of 2 so after getting this x is equals to plus or minus 2 put it back in this one of the equation y as minus 1 after getting this minus 1 i've got my intercept capital a as minus square root of 2 comma minus 1 and b as square root of 2 comma minus 1 so these are the two intercepts so this is the x y intercept y intercept of this curve and these are the intercept of both of them together and that is why i've got it here x and y coordinates as non zero numbers now again the same thing i have considered here strip parallel to y axis because of the strip parallel to y axis what will happen i need to consider this lower end of this curve i'm always whenever i'm considering a strip parallel to x this y axis i'm always watching my lower limit first lower limit first means this strip is lying on the curve on what curve this curve, this this strip is lying i'm looking at those points so if you'll observe this is the strip parallel to this y axis and the lower end is on the curve this is y is equals to x square minus 3 and therefore my lower limit for y is x square minus 3 upper limit would be on this curve which is 1 minus x square so y the limit of y is going from x cube minus 3 to 1 minus x square how that x will move again as the previous question as i have told you here i it, i have to i have just i have to look at this the x coordinates of those points 0 and i have seen here similarly i will go for the x coordinate of the point this a and the point b therefore my x coordinates or the limit for the up, the lower and the upper upper limit of the x coordinate x is from minus 2 to 2 and this is just a simple one so similarly one more thing here whenever i'm talking here about this previous question if you will observe they have given me here this sorry this d is not there this integral given to me in the example whereas in the area type of question they will not give you most of the time they will just give you in a word problem like area of the region instead of giving this sometimes they might give you integration double integral over da uh, sorry double integration of da over the curve d or some curve r and what is this da means da means it again depends on what coordinates you are solving now in the present case i'm solving my x this xy coordinate that is the cartesian coordinates and i have i have got my equations of the curves in terms of the cartesian coordinates only and therefore the value of da is nothing but dy dx this is integral double integral over d that is nothing but this my entire d this is what is my entire d shaded part and therefore this the x coordinates y coordinate coordinates as in the limits for x is minus square root of 2 to square root of 2 and the the inner integral is for x square minus 3 to 1 minus x square dy dx just you need to solve this as the usual as we are doing it for the double integral the upper limit minus the lower limit do not forget that the upper limit minus the lower limit whenever you are solving this type of examples here next question i would like to go for polar coordinates the again it's find the area enclosed by the circle a uh, circle is they have given you the name of so of the curve that is this r is equals to 3 cos of theta and the cardioid cardioid is r equals to 1 minus cos of theta now if you observe this r equals to 3 cos of theta after after converting this r is equals to 3 cos theta uh, in terms of x and y you will get the uh, the center of the circle and the radius of the circle the circle as well so this is nothing but this is if you'll observe here and after solving this this is your home this is just pause the video for a while find out the r is equals to 3 cos of theta in terms of x and y 
get your center of the circle and radius then you just draw the circle just look at the circle whether you are getting the same circle as we have drawn here then similarly this cardioid cardioid it's very simple here this is 1 minus cos of theta there are four types of cardi cardioids there one is of this kind this is one right 1 minus cos of theta then this is minus this is sorry this is like this one of the cardioid this the another cardioid is something like this here and the another cardioid is something like this here so if you we'll observe there are four different types of cardioids okay now r is equals to 3 cos theta this we have drawn this figure over here now uh, i need to find out the intercepts everybody please go for the next one uh, let me just i have i have enlarged this figure in the next slide to just make you understand what exactly this here if you observe this this region this is my shaded region this is the part of the cardioid this is the part of this circle now blue is denoted as a circle and this reddish or the the orange color is been denoted by this and this is nothing but my cardioid okay now if i wanted to have this intercept if you observe this is my intercept this is one point at one point the circle and the cardioid is getting intercept this is the another point at what this point these two points a cardioid and a circle is getting intersect what are the points how can i find out those points like this here as we have done it for x and y in the previous case similarly here r is equals to 3 cos theta r is equals to 1 plus cos theta i'm r is equals to r is equals to so i'm 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 equating the rhs of both the equations is 3 times cos of theta 1 plus cos of theta you're going you're going to get the intersection point as theta is equals to pi by 3 and another point so this is my intercept point pi by 3 over here and the another point is here so if you observe in this figure this is my pi by 3 the the where this is intersecting and this is my another point which is minus pi by 3 the intercepts fine then the uh, yeah one more thing uh, if you observe this entire curve this is the axis this axis is dividing this entire region into two equal half two equal halves so what what is this this is nothing but i could find out it's not necessary for me to find out all over from here to here the integration what am i going to do i'm i'm considering only the integration in the upper half of this the the this r i'm, I'm considering only the positive part or the upper half so whenever i'm considering the upper half as i'm dealing here with the uh, the polar coordinates here and this is what is my the position of a torch that is the position of torch is here at the and the at the origin here so now if, if i wanted to have whenever we are talking about the the x and the y axis or coordinates or uh, the 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 position of this x and y axis will always move like this whereas whenever we are talking about whenever we are talking about r and theta this movement will happen this is my source or origin always it is a origin as my source and this is always moving from anti clockwise direction always it will trace the region anti clockwise direction now if you observe in this i am considering only the first upper half of this region and whenever i'm i'm considering a upper half i'm starting from here so i'm focusing my torch i'm focusing and trying to cover this entire region trying to cover this entire region so if you observe this this strip will start from here this this not strip strip it's a ray will start from here it will cover this 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 that means what this this end of this ray is on the curve on the curve cardioid up to this point suppose i'm considering this point as as a up to the point a so this end this focus of this ray would be here on this curve on this curve up to the part a and after that it is getting shifted from the cardioid to a circle from the cardioid to a circle and that is why because of this point intersection point this region is getting divided the upper half upper this part is getting divided into two so let me just consider this as my d1 region and this as my d2 region so this is my d2 region a small region which is a d2 region and therefore i am dividing this region by this dotted line dotted line suppose this is oa this line is getting this is this line is dividing this entire d this upper region into two halves half, two parts d1 and d2 let me consider let me explain you the limit for this d1 part 
this is r is equals to 0 to r is equals to 1 minus 1 plus cos of theta so my first the inner integral is r equals to 0 to r equals to 1 plus cos of theta then after this point a after this point a the upper half of this ray is getting shifted from cardioid to a circle and therefore my upper the lower this lower limit would be same because it's again again on origin so it's 0 to this so it's 0 to this circle that is 3 cos of theta and what about limit now if you observe this limit is always theta is equals to 0 because I'm starting it from theta is equals to 0 here so theta is equals to 0 so it is if you observe this is my theta is equals to 0 line and whenever I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going this end is on the cardioid until and unless it, it this this end is on the cardioid I will not stop I will not stop I will not stop and at the point A where this cardioid is getting shifted from the cardioid to a circle, I'm changing this. So I just consider this this hand is for the cardioid, and the another hand is on the another hand is on the circle. This end is on the circle. And therefore, the limit is this limit is from 0 to pi by 3 for my inner integral i1, or you can say that my first first d1 region. It's from r equals to 0 to r equals to 1 plus cos of theta. Theta is from 0 to pi by 3. And the outer integral, if you observe, this is my pi by 3. And this circle is coming here and coming here and coming here. And this is what is my another point, which is theta is equals to pi by 2 line. Pi by 2 line. This is pi by 2 line. And therefore, this is what is the circle. Because this circle is in the first and the fourth quadrant, it is not going in the third and a fourth uh, third uh, second and a third quadrant i cannot uh, go beyond my theta is equal to pi by 2 so this is what is my tangent or you can say the asymptote for this particular circle so therefore my limit will move from pi by 3 to pi by 2 in my second region d2 and as i have explained already 0 to 3 cos of theta is the inner integral or r is moving from 0 to 3 cos of theta Similarly, at the previous case, similarly here, we have done dA is equal to dx dy. As I have told you previously also, that r dr d theta, r dr d theta will happen with dA when we are dealing here with polar coordinates. And therefore, this is what is my i1 and i2. What is this 2 is doing here? This 2 is doing here because I'm, I have considered the only the half part of this. So whatever this square bracket, this square bracket, I have explained you the limit only for the upper half of this, upper half of this. Whereas the, uh, the lower half is also we are having an interest in it. And therefore, it's two times this entire integral because it is getting divided because of this axis and therefore my answer will be for this particular integral would be 5 by 4 pi square unit i hope everybody must have understood this happy learning